Hello and welcome to Asian Eye Hospital Educational Series. I am Dr. Shrutika Junagade Kankriya, cataract surgeon, retina and diabetic eye disease expert. Today we will be discussing a very important topic which is diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy is a leading cause of preventable blindness in India. Preventable is a very important word that we need to mark because it can be easily prevented if treated in time and that's what we all need to understand who are living with diabetes. So what is diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy is a disease of retina. This is the retina inside the eye at the back portion. Diabetic retinopathy affects this retina which is the most important organ for visual function. So what exactly happens in diabetic retinopathy? Due to high blood sugar levels, the fine capillaries in the retina get damaged and leads to breakdown. This breakdown of fine capillaries leads to bleeding from these vessels causing red spots and exudation causing yellow spots in the retina as seen in this picture. At this stage, patient has good vision. So the patient doesn't realize if diabetic retinopathy is developing in the retina. At this stage, if the sugar is still uncontrolled, then patient can develop diabetic macular edema, which is nothing but swelling at the center part of the retina. This swelling can be easily diagnosed by tests like optical coherence tomography or OCT as seen in this picture. This is the retina of a normal patient and this is the retina of a patient who has diabetic macular edema. So let's dive in and get some answers to common questions related to diabetic retinopathy. So diabetic macular edema affects the very center point of this retina which carries out almost 99% of fine vision and at this stage patient does experience blurry vision and inability to do fine uh, reading and writing work. Diabetic macular edema requires long term treatment and doesn't have any quick fix. If this disease still keeps on progressing because of lack of blood sugar control, then abnormal new vessels develop on the surface of the retina. These new vessels, unlike the normal vessels, are very fragile and delicate. We call them NVE or neovascularization. These blood vessels can rupture anytime because they are extremely delicate and fragile. And rupture of this blood vessel can lead to an entity called vitreous hemorrhage or bleeding inside the eye, which can suddenly remarkably reduce a patient's vision. So who is at risk for developing diabetic retinopathy? Any person who has type 1 or type 2 diabetes can develop diabetic retinopathy. There is higher risk if you have diabetes for more than 10 years. Even more higher risk if you have uncontrolled diabetes for a longer duration. If you have HbA1c levels more than 8.5, then you are more at risk of developing diabetic retinopathy. Other contributing risk factors are high blood pressures low hemoglobin levels, chronic smoking, alcoholism and a coexisting diabetic nephropathy. So what are the symptoms of diabetic retinopathy? How will I come to know whether I have diabetic retinopathy? In the early stage of diabetic retinopathy, patients may not have any symptoms and that's the cause of worry. Any delay in treatment in early stage of disease can lead to vision loss. This asymptomatic stage sometimes lead to delay in diagnosis and treatment. So all diabetic patients need to remember this, that even if you have diabetes without any symptoms or problem, compulsory yearly retina checkup is mandatory. This is to prevent diabetic retinopathy formation. However, if the diabetic retinopathy doesn't get diagnosed in the early stage and gets diagnosed at a later stage, then patients will do have symptoms like blurry of vision, fading of colors of the objects they are looking at, difficulty in night vision, black spots floating around in their vision field, or even sudden vision loss. How is diabetic retinopathy diagnosed? How will I come to know if I have diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy can be diagnosed through a complete eye examination which includes 
dilated eye examination with a device called indirect ophthalmoscopy like seen in this picture. Dilatation of eyes is very important to see your retina. Dilatation of eyes can be done with dilatation eye drops which takes around 30 to 40 minutes. After dilatation, patient will have blurry vision for six, maybe six hours. I have seen most of the patients tend to avoid retinal examination because they don't like dilatation. But this should not be the case. But there is a good news for these patients. Optos machine allows ultra wide field retinal imaging which captures more than 200 degree of retina in single picture just in two minutes as you see in this image. This technology allows quick retinal screening for diabetic retinopathy. I urge patients who have diabetes to make use of this technology to have regular diabetic retinopathy screening rather than avoiding a retinal examination. So what treatments are available for diabetic retinopathy? Treatment depends upon the stage of diabetic retinopathy. If the patient has early stage of diabetic retinopathy, then even just sugar control is enough to prevent the progression of disease. But if the disease advances, a novel treatment which includes intravitreal anti injection should be done. This is the most promising treatment that is available for treating diabetic retinopathy over the last 15 years. For most advanced cases, treatment include intravitreal anti injection. We have been using this injection for the past 15 years and this is the most promising treatment for treating diabetic retinopathy. We are really fortunate with the invention of these injections which not only reduces the diabetic macular edema but also causes regression of those new vessels which can cause complications like bleeding inside the eyes. Prior to that, only retinal lasers and retinal surgeries could be done in patients with diabetic retinopathy and most of the patient had to live with low vision but because of the injections we can really treat diabetic retinopathy very efficiently and help patient to restore vision till the last. Injection inside the eye might sound scary but believe me they are so so easy absolutely painless and given by a very thin needle which is as thin as a hair. I have a separate video which explains anti injections at length you could refer to that video as well. These injections are given inside the operation theatre, hardly take 30 seconds and you can go back home in an hour or two. Other gold standard treatment for diabetic retinopathy is panretinal photocoagulation laser which we call it as PRP laser. This laser treatment is very very important if you have advanced proliferative diabetic retinopathy because this laser will save you from blindness. In rare situations where the disease is very very advanced and patient has uh, tractional retinal detachment then we have to do a retinal surgery or diabetic vitrectomy. Of course the prognosis of this procedure is not very great but at least to save whatever vision the patient has we need to do the surgeries. Another common question that patient asks me is can diabetic retinopathy be reversed? The answer is if the disease is caught in early stage and treated appropriately then the diabetic retinopathy will get reversed with strict sugar control, blood pressure control and change in lifestyle. Although if the disease is already progressed and permanent damage to the retina is already caused then we just can restore the vision and prevent further loss but cannot completely reverse the disease. Another important question is how often do I need to get my retina checked if I am a diabetic? If you are a diabetic, even with good sugar control and no eye symptoms or eye problems, you should get your eye checked every once in a year, that is once every year. If you have diabetic retinopathy changes, then you need to get your eyes checked every 3 to 6 months. When you are involved in active treatment with injections or laser, you might be called by a doctor maybe every month as well. So a frequent eye checkup is mandatory if you have diabetic retinopathy. Another question is, are there any lifestyle modification which can prevent diabetic retinopathy? Yes, yes, of course. Strict sugar control is of paramount importance. Along with it, 
keeping your blood pressure under check, maintaining a good hemoglobin level if you're a smoker, avoiding smoking, eating a good fiber and protein rich diet and doing regular exercise is going to definitely support diabetic retinopathy treatment. Thank you for joining us. Take care of your eyes and stay healthy.